Hello all, welcome to information gathering video series with Carl Linux and Carl Linux running under Raspberry Pi 5. This is my second video and the second video we are going to use the tool information gathering, DNS analysis and we are going to use the DNS, DNS recon. We are going to use DNS recon to do the investigation. If you check my first video, I use uh, DNS Enum tool and I explain everything. And this video, I'm going to use the DNS Raccoon. So I'm going to clear the first one and we're going to jump into the DNS Raccoon. So what we need to do here is the first we need to run the basic command. We type DNS Raccoon and we say D. And we're going to type my website, kalicyber.com. Oh, kalicyber.com. This is my test website. I'm going to enter. It takes few minutes and just generate a bunch of information. And we're going to all the information. I'm going to explain this. Okay, let's start from the top DNS recon dash D cybercom This part shows you are using DNS recon tool to gather information about cybercom Think of it like a, asking a detective to investigate the website's online address. And after that, we have performing general enumeration against cybercom This tells you that the DNS recon is starting its investigation similar to detect you gathering clues. It will look for various details about the website's domain. And third one is we can see name servers fail to uh, all name servers fail to answer the DNS query for Kalicyber.com. So DNSSEC failure. This means that the security future DNSSEC isn't available for Kalicyber.com. Imagine it like a lack of security cameras at the scene making the investigation a bit trickier and we have a soa record so what is soa records mean so in the context of the dns record output right the sa record stands for state of authority record it's like the birth certificate or official document for domain within the domain name system DNS. Think of it as the most important file in the library directory about the kalicyber.com. So if I give you example, there's a lot of files there, right? So, so uh, there's a primary name servers, serial numbers, uh, refresh time, retry time, expiration time, minimal TTL. Um, so understanding the SO record is very crucial because it provides vital information about the authority and management of a domain DNS data. It's like the foundation stone of the library telling you who is in charge and how the information is kept accurate and consistent. So a lot of information on uh, SO records. Now we have uh, NS record one in here, two on here and here. So NS records are we call name servers. So these are like the website's phone book directing traffic to its server. We see kalicyber.com uses the name uh, cheap hosting, right? So similar to using the library's directory to find a specific book. So uh, after that, we have bind version. So bind version, this tells you the software version running on the name servers. Think of it like knowing the library's file, uh, filing system to navigate the efficiency. And after that, we have three of these are mail servers. So now we discover the email addresses for kalicyber.com are handled by Jellyfish systems. Imagine, imagine these are the mailbox within the library where emails are uh, delivered. Also, I believe this Jellyfish system is a, also a spam prevention. The record uh, here tell us about kalicyber.com uses the specific settings to prevent spam emails. Uh, think of like a security measures at the library entrance to stop unwanted 
like visitors. Um, so after that, we have a record, cybercom and the IP address. And after that, we have a TST record, um, contains the SPA, like a sender policy, framework policy. Uh, so, so we can have a lot of information in here. So SPF is a uh, used to prevent sender address uh, forgery, specifying which mail servers are authorized to send email behalf the of, of the domain. So a lot of lot of information in here. And after that we have SRV records. Uh, so these SRV records this point into specific services like email and calendar access on kalicyber.com. Imagine them like a directional signs within the library leading to specific departments. And at the end we have like six records found. So these are record summary. So we learned that the uh, DNS recon found six different types of records about kalicyber.com, uh, giving us a deep understanding of its online footprint. So this is how you run uh, DNS record and finding information on a website. I run on my own website, test website. So if you want to run a specific website, you need to have permission. So great powers come with great responsibilities. Keep in mind that you need to have permission. If you want to run a site, please use kalicyber.com. That's my test site. I'm giving you free to, to uh, learn. So uh, till that, I'll see you on my next video. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. And I'll see you on my next videos. Thank you.